Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are looking upon a street scene just south of Jacksonville Beach, Florida. We will be watching Local Utility Beaches Energy Services and their contractor Hart Utilities of Jacksonville perform underground directional drilling, after which they will pull through about 400 feet of conduit through which they can string a distribution cable. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. So as we see our crew here on the on-site job safety briefing, let's listen to a Beaches engineer describe the project. All right, good morning. I'm Jamison Parker, electrical engineer with Beaches Energy Services in uh, Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Uh, the project we have going on today is uh, neck road, overhead to underground conversion. Uh, during Hurricanes uh, Matthew of 2016 and Irma of 2017, uh, this area is one of the hardest hit um, sections of our system. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, tree growth, and trees and hurricanes don't mix well together. So about a year ago, we got with one of our design engineers, Robert Alip, and uh, he came up with a design to put uh, two four inch pipes underground on each side of the road with a one knot three phase and a normally open at the very end of the cul-de-sac so we can feed from either direction. And what you can see here is a contractor doing directional boring and they'll be going from uh, cabinet to cabinet, pulling in the three phase one knot. Um, at appropriate peel off points, we'll be pulling um, single phase one knot to uh, pad mount transformers to feed each of these homes. In, uh, and here you see a directional boring machine. You see the drill bit head here as it enters the ground to start this tunnel through which they will string conduit. You see they're also forcing pressurized water in there to help the drilling. And here you see the operator of the boring or drill machine. You see these pipes stacked in here. These will actually form the drill bit as it goes through the ground. And here are the operator's viewpoint. And you can hear over the radio the foreman calling for five gallons of water as he watches the drill progress through that monitor. And as we move to the front of the machine, you now see our foreman, Jose, who will be marking, watching, and marking the progress of the drilling. You're going to see a handheld monitor here where he can watch the underground progress of the drill. It's going to turn blue in a second and then it can make some marks as to its progress. So now let's jump back to the boring machine itself. You see here it's feeding pipe in, then it comes back empty. He's going to apply a little bit of mud to the attachment for the next section of pipe, which comes from that rack we saw before and is placed on this track. And in that way, it becomes part of the drill bit as it goes through the ground. Now you're gonna see the reverse of this process as we come back through. Okay. And now we jump back to the receiving end of this drilling and uh, we're gonna see the drill bit actually come up out of the ground. Ground moving. Drill it, drill it. Okay, so you gotta admit that was pretty cool. Let's watch that again. Remember, this is being drilled from 400 feet away. So now we'll just push that drill bit a bit further through and then detach that so they can attach a new set of hardware to pull conduit back through. And this then is that new attachment and you notice it actually is going to open up the hole a little bigger. There is the spool of conduit they'll be bringing back. And to the end of this spool of conduit they will attach the drill bit and the new bit and they're going to pull it back through using the directional boring machine that we saw earlier. We'll go back there and take a look at that now. And as promised before, we now see the reverse action of the directional boring machine as the drill comes down empty to meet a section of pipe. And it'll come back along that track and pull or extract that pipe out of the recently drilled hole. And then we'll set it on the rack to the side. You can see here after the drill bit reaches the top and disengages that arm will come out from the middle of the screen there, grab this newly retracted pipe and pull it over, place it on the rack to the side. 
And as that is done, you can see the drill coming back empty to pick up the next section of pipe. And here is the machine with the racks starting to fill with the pipe being extracted back out of the hole. And then after extracting all that pipe, we now see the connection point between the conduit and the drilling pipe as we saw on the other side of this job. Now they're going to clean up that conduit a little bit. They will use a wastewater truck to uh, suck out the, any excess uh, water in that extraction cavity. And as they move the equipment to the other side of the road, you have now seen our TND How video on horizontal or directional boring. Once again, our participating utility was Beaches Energy Services. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.